Hello Virgos. Thank you for joining me Tootsie here at Snake Lady Tarot. Thank you for your support. Thank you for being here. Let's take a look at your general energy and offer some messages, foresight, and advice for you for over the next few days or so. Only take what resonates. Leave what doesn't behind. Don't force the energy. Don't force the square into a circle. Like the video on your way in. Subscribe to the channel. Let's get right into it. Maybe you're not Virgo. Maybe you've got Virgo in your birth chart. Maybe you have Earth in your birth chart somewhere. Or you're in a relationship in love or interested in Virgo Earth energy. Cross watchers, you're welcome as well. Thank you for your support and let's get right into it. When I'm in alignment with love, the universe... I apologize, let me say that again. When I'm in line, when I'm in alignment with love of the universe, peace cannot be disrupted. When you find yourself in a place where no matter how hard people try, they can't knock you like down to their level. They can't take your power from me. You may be starting to, my favorite line here, own your power here. Possess, control, If every time someone comments and you lose control of your emotions, you're saying things, doing things, you're not in alignment with yourself. You're not in alignment with love of the universe as well. Don't let anyone disrupt your peace here, Virgo. I think that may be your overall advice for this reading. Let's get some details. Let's see if we can clarify here. Shadow work. A lot of self-healing, a lot of work on the self coming to grips with our faults, coming to grips with some of our flaws, and creating better energy for those around us, um, for those we love, for those we cherish, allowing them to have peace as well. Sometimes we may not be our loved one's peace, right? Um, sometimes we can get caught up in our ego, caught up in our selfishness. We may not realize we disturb the peace around us. Um, let's take a look, get some insight on some dreams, on some thoughts, on some mental clarity for you. Let's see if we can get you aligned here. Messages, advice for you, Virgo. Very clear-minded. I feel as though you're right on par with your destiny, meaning you found your direction and you're staying on the path. I wasn't going to pull three. But we're looking into your dreams, obedience, wealth, music. Obedience, wealth, and music. You have an issue with authority. You don't want to. You don't want to conform. Um, you don't conform to opinions. You don't conform to comforts or materialisticness. I feel this may be your focus, maybe peace, maybe it's your it's this is for you or someone around you, Virgo. There's an issue of authority when it comes to wealth, when it comes to music, when it comes to luxury. Um, this could be your control over someone or vice versa, take that how it resonates for you, right? Someone can be telling you you're spending too much time going out, looking cute, um, spending your money on ridiculous things or, or vice versa. You could be trying to advise someone or, or offer suggestions. Let's get some cold hard advice from the Rebel deck. You are the best thing that ever happened to you. to you. Go easy on yourself and buy your own drinks. So this may be an instance of then someone can be giving you advice that it's not someone else's job to take care of you financially. It's not someone else's job to provide music, to provide wealth. Um, let's get some tarot on the table. Let's clarify what is going on here. Virgo, Earth Energy, what do you need to know here? Nine 
nine of coins, the full two of wands, three of wands, justice. Now, I wasn't going to pull this for you, but you know what? Financially, you're stable, Virgo. You're looking for love. You're financially stable. You're finding a way to align yourself with the universe of So it just seems as though you're trying to find your next steps. You're trying to find your footing on your next steps, where you're headed. Um, you have the home base secure. You have the stability set. And I see you moving forward, trying to make connections, maybe making new friends, maybe meeting new people. However, this may resonate for you. And then here, Page of Swords, Seven of Wands, Justice, and Three of Wands. You're wanting to make new connections. You're learning that a lot of the people around you are deceitful, dishonest, Seven of Wands energy, maybe stealing, maybe copying, maybe just very disingenuine around you. Um, so I find you putting space between yourself, between the people around you, just time, distance, space, not what you're looking for at all. You're wanting to collaborate with equally yoked individuals, friends, family, neighbors. You're wanting to connect with people that are more so on a positive note so you can stay aligned. I do see this. Maybe you feel you've been tested with um, negative people around you, so it's causing an issue with some authority figures. Um, stay aligned. Don't allow people to knock you off of your balance here. I see your focus has been great. It's bringing you accomplishments. You are reaching your goals. And Virgo, open-minded, open-hearted, ready to make connections. Let's clarify messages and advice. What do you need to know? The sun. <laughs> the star you're ready to manifest love connections happiness around you the high priestess ten of pentacles you want happiness domestic bliss you want a happy life you want a peaceful passionate enjoyable equally yoked equally authoritative um, you're looking for 50 50 here is what i'm getting not someone in control. You're looking for 50-50. You pay your way, I pay my way. Let's meet in the middle and live in peace and harmony. The star. Yes, absolutely. Queen of Swords. And you're verbal about it. I will not bend to the... I, I won't bend the knee. Virgo, you will not bend the knee on this one. I, I hear you loud and clear. You will not bend the knee. I have options. I'm the queen of swords. I have this big loud voice, this strong sword. I've paved my way to get here. I will not pay your way. You're looking for an equally yoked 50-50 type of a connection. All right. I've got king of wands at the bottom of the deck. So <laughs> this person's got more fire than tongue. All right. They're not whipping back at you with the words. Um, this person is smart, intelligent very masculine they have to have it their way burger king their way or no way um they are the authority they are the dictator in their world as you are in your world virgo queen of swords she has as much confidence as the king of wands um but full of hot air right she is not going to get out here and fight battles she is not going to get out here and do the work she is going to hold the throne she is going to play her role um so there is that essence of letting go of that ego letting go of of that pride and really deciding what you want um you are looking for someone equally yoked as yourself i don't think you will find it and um that beta energy someone that's um wanting to go 50 50 with you um this type of king of wands energy is 
they they may be a little bit more authoritative than you're used to. It will be a change for you, a different direction. But I show the option is here. Happiness is on the table. Ten of <laughs> we've got ten of pentacles. The sun, high priestess. This could be a good match for you. Um, whether this person is a friend, whether this is a parent type of figure, um, it could be. But there is an there seems to be an issue with authority. Same stuff, different day. It's nothing different for you. This is really a repetitive cycle for you. All right, it's always it always comes down to the same thing. They don't listen. You won't budge, and and that's kind of the gist of it. Screenshotting, getting evidence, proof, and facts. And at the bottom of the deck, yes, I have karmic friends for you. Can't fully trust them. There's tension, secret competitions, keeping your friends close and your enemies closer. Um, it's that frenemy type vibe. You're not quite sure where it's headed, but there's interest. Um, they appear to be what you're looking for, but it really is a test of the wills. Are you willing to change? Are you willing to concede? Are you willing to conform? This person could be offering exactly what you're wishing for. I have the star for you twice. This, I have the star clarifying the star, okay? And this is going to bring you justice, the end of a cycle, and some self-love. This person's going to teach you a lot about yourself. With self-love, self-centered, um, self-healing and independence. I always, I, the arguments I I've, have in conversations and um, just back and forth communication regarding self-love and independence has always been a weird one for me lately, especially now I'm becoming a little bit more RP than I used to be. Um, but in the sense of independence, if you're so good on your own, this queen of swords, energy, not willing to conform, not wanting to do shadow work, um, not wanting to listen and follow the leader, wanting to be the leader in itself. In that sense, you will find yourself alone. It's lonely at the top. All right. That equal give and take, that equality, that real appreciation is, is in the middle. It's never at the top. You don't find that with the cutthroat individuals. It really is a sense of self-awareness here and finding yourself. So I have you at the end of a cycle, all right? There's a death, an end. It could be harm. It could be inevitable. Um, there, there can be harm happening with this connection. You could be blocking blessings if there's no shadow work done or vice versa, right? Um, maybe you're not asking for too much. Maybe that's how you feel. I'm not asking for too much. It's just the bare minimum. And this person just, no, I feel like you're telling me what to do here, Virgo. So there's justice, there's equality, there is neutrality, there's logic. Think logically, not with your emotions. Don't let them pull you out of alignment. Stay aligned, stay logic. Um, not in a selfish, egotistical way, but just to keep yourself balanced. All right, and I have endorsement, um, Persuasion, bribes, temptation. Someone can be tempting you. All right. We have sweet dreams, satisfaction, comfortability, lazy days, and fury. Offense, madness, unpleasantness. This person may be all, all, all play, no work, right? You want to work hard and play hard equally. This person may be... This could be why you don't fully trust them. You feel like they're tempting you to um, fail is what I'm getting. You feel tempted to fail. Um, this isn't necessarily giving me relationship vibes. So I'm just going to pull one more for you from from my light and love oracle. All right, final messages, final advice for you. What do you need to know, Virgo? You guys like the video, subscribe to the channel. Hit the notifications button. You won't miss out on future readings. 
share the video on the socials help get the channel out there i appreciate your support you guys and my final card for you is the ever unfolding rose cracked open it's happening for you and not to you keep this logical look outside of yourself see this from an outside point of view from a general point of view stay logical allow yourself to have control of your emotions without fury without rage without anger without any toxic and um, type of energy this karmic friend can bring you peace and success or it can bring the end of a cycle it can bring justice really the truth the the truth and the outcome depends on yourself, your ability to do the shadow work and stay aligned. That is my advice. That is what I have for you. Thank you for being here, you guys. Blessed be.